Do you pay for every book that you listen to on Audible? This is a question with a complicated answer that I'm going to simplify for you guys. The shortest answer is yes, but how much you pay for each one is really up to you. Let me explain. In this video, I'm going to talk about a few different ways to pay less for books on Audible from most to least expensive because some way or another, after your trial is over, you're paying for what you listen to. But again, it's really kind of up to you how much that is. There's a maximum and a minimum, and we'll go over both from the top down. So if this pricing sounds high at first, just bear with me. I'm going to include prices in USD. US dollars. Uh, if you don't use USD because you don't live in the US, then I don't know what the D is in your country, but Google does. And just so you know, this information is legit. I got it straight from the section from Audible's site going over their membership options. And I'll drop a link in the description with that if you want to sort of look them over and figure out what's best for you. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sam and I want to make self-growth normal because people shouldn't have to look this information up. It should just be mainstream knowledge. If you agree, then please make sure to smash that like button. First option is buying books one at a time. This is with no membership and it's easily the most expensive option. When you hear the word membership and you think, Sam, I'm not signing up for some membership. I'd rather just take things one book at a time. I hear you. Also, when I think of membership, I just think of like making some sort of commitment and maybe you just got the app. It sounds kind of unnecessary, doesn't it? I'll talk about that shortly, but just for some perspective here, let's look at a few bestseller prices. Prices of best-selling audiobooks. Rounding to the nearest dollar, Waybound is $30. Identity is $30. Lessons in Chemistry is $18, Fourth Wing is $38, and Outlive is $35. I don't know about you guys, but I would literally never spend that much on any audiobook. Now the way around this, it's a membership, because despite what I was saying, this is pretty much what Audible costs without one. The second option is Audible Plus, which is $7.95 a month, plus tax. There are two membership plans. There's Audible Plus and Audible Premium Plus. Right now, we're going to talk about Audible Plus. They both begin with a 30-day trial, free, and from there, it's a monthly payment. What you're getting with this one is a listen-all-you-want buffet of select Audible originals, um, audiobooks, sleep tracks, meditation programs, and podcasts. Audible originals are audio books you can only get on Audible. It's basically Audible's version of Netflix originals and it includes like documentaries, theater, and, and sleep programs. The audiobooks include fan favorites in very popular categories like mysteries, thrillers, business, and romance. And lastly, the podcasts are ad-free and those are also Audible exclusive. A lot of this is Audible exclusive stuff. This collection of content is also known as the Plus Catalog and it can be found on your phone under search at the bottom of the screen and then go to all categories at the bottom of the list. And you can find it out in the open on your computer toward the top. You can get all access to this for $7.95 a month. The Plus catalog changes every week and they're always adding stuff to it. The only drawback is that it's still limited so it doesn't have just every book that you might want and you'll still be paying for each of those. The most popular way around this is the other membership option, which is Audible Premium Plus. The third option, Audible Premium Plus, which is $14.95 a month. Premium Plus gives you everything that Plus does and Every month you get something called a credit, which you can redeem for any book no matter how much it costs. I don't care if you're looking at a $10 book or a $100 book. A credit is a credit is a credit is a credit, and you can use one credit on any book. That's one book a month on Audible on the house. It's on the house and it's $14.95. That beats the price of every one of those bestsellers we looked at. In fact, most of them are actually twice as much. $14.95 is much more manageable than $30 for a book. Now I know what some of you are thinking. Sam. That's nice and all, but what if I just signed on to Audible so I could get a few books that my friend told me about and I don't really want anything else? No problem. You can just get the trial and cancel it before they charge you for the next month. If you want another book, sign up for a membership, pay the $14.95, get the book with your credit, and cancel it. Here's a really, really cool thing about it, and I get this question on these videos more than any other question. I get it so often that the more I mention it in videos, the less I wonder why I'm still getting it. No matter what, if you cancel your membership, you get to keep the books you got with it. I'm really preaching here, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> you can listen to them whenever you want, and unlike that stupid X, they'll always be there for you. The fourth option is premium plus two credits a month. This is $22.95 a month. This is another option. It's basically Audible Premium Plus, except instead of one credit a month, you get two for another $8 a month. Remember how Premium Plus is letting you pay $14.95 a book? And this is $22.95 a month, and you're getting two books a month? This option costs $11.47 a book, and so it's an even lower-priced option. And it's excellent, excellent for someone who listens to more than just one book a month. 
Excellent. The fifth option is premium plus 12 credits a year. This is $149.50 a year. They charge you once a year, it gives you 12 credits. Now, instead of $14.95 a month, if you divide the total annual price, uh, $149.50 a year, you divide that by 12, since there are 12 months in a year, you're paying $12.45 a book instead of $14.95. This is just a lower cost version, really, of the Premium Plus membership, where they give you one credit a month. But I would definitely recommend this for someone who sees themselves using Audible for at least a year, but doesn't really listen to more.